folks, so uh, part two of building my crawler camera, or camera crawler. So check the link for where the parts come from, and make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy these kind of videos. Uh, make sure that you also check out the playlist, which has all of the videos related to this project. So here we go. So we're going to do the rear axle. And uh, the first part of this is to build the pumpkin. So those go to the drop axles, as do these. And what we need to do first is a whole bunch of screwing. So we need to figure out where these are. Yep, that's those. So we need six of these. And six. Awesome. So we've got six of those. And then we need this piece here, which goes in like this. So let's just start there. And uh, I did take uh, a Celebrex and some Tylenol, so my hands are feeling better for the moment. We'll see how far I get into this. And that was a mistake. I should have done it differently. There we go. On these little tiny screws, they're hard enough to work with as it is, so it's better to put them on the tool first. These are going to be some uh, slow videos, so I'm sorry if you are looking for wham bam, here's the five seconds of secret sauce ma'am, ain't gonna happen. These are gonna be watch me build it. The theory here is it'd be just like if you were sitting at the table with me. And what I'm hoping is that this will help out folks who maybe haven't made as many mistakes in building kits as I have. Um, So I have a uh, few decades of experience in destroying parts and putting things together. And uh, if you're a parent and you have kids, one of the things I encourage is to let your kids take stuff apart. Go buy an old lawnmower, let them take it apart. Even if it doesn't go back together, they will learn so much. And uh, if you have a curious child, you really need to indulge that curiosity. It leads to great things in life. Um, and each person learns differently and you know I, I have very fond memories of taking things apart and going hmm, hey I have parts left over and that's okay and, you know I learned from those things and uh, I've always been very curious mechanically so for me it's as much fun using the tool as building it I have to say, um, this is a really impressive kit, really well designed, great instructions, and uh, you know, I'm not sure the quality of the metal, I think this is all press um, cast, so it's a powdered metal that they press and can make little parts out of. That's okay, this is still a you know, it's impressive. And um, these little gears can actually take quite a bit of shear strength. Um, it's not as good as solid CNC, but it's pretty good. Alright, so that's kind of the extent of that. We'll need the black grease here in a minute. 
So now what we need to do is figure out, pretty sure it's these, yep, these go here and here. And uh, it doesn't call for black grease in the bearings, but they are open sided bearings, so I am adding grease to them. Doesn't take a whole lot. figure out how this goes in just like that put some grease on my shorts it's a great place for it and then we'll grease that good and then we should be done with that oh not quite we, we, we'll use it in the drop drop axles so next we need this part. One there. And uh, you can use this as a alignment guide. way you get that pressed in there straight. So what I did is I just pushed that in there and then use that to pull that into position. Okay, so then this goes in like this. All right, and there's a little there's a little slot in there that lines up and that's how you know where you should put this. go get that together and now we need to figure out what these are yeah so it's those these really stupid long screws again and back to two millimeters and I suggest helicoptering these. Uh, it's easier on your hands, even if you don't have carpal tunnel. Lots of manual handwork will eventually cause it. And then you can finish it by hand. So, now we need to pop these in.
these are our drop axles and so what we're what we're doing here is assembling the drop axle components this also gears down the wheels So, this is going to be a little different. So we got to figure out which side is which. All right, that one went right in there. There we go. Just have to play with it a little bit to get it to go in. And then we're going to flip the script on this because the assembly process looks better this way. And then we need a little bit of black grease. All right, got a little bit of issue here, so I gotta take it apart and see why it's not fitting. And it's starting to wear out my hands again.
So I've got a axle that doesn't fit right in here, so the only thing I can think of to do is pull it out. look at these and see if they are truly, well they look identical. We've got a fit issue here. So let's see what the other side's like. Okay. I am missing some bearings, so I don't think they've gone very far, but we're going to dig a little deeper. Normally this is an indicator that we've got something someplace that doesn't belong. I 
missing two bearings. Good possibility I could steal them out of the transmission, but I really hate to do that. I'm just going to stop and rechase. So there, 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 there. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. They don't put a bearing in here. So that's where our extra bearings went. Even though there's space for it, they apparently quit putting it in. So we're going to have to be mean to the bearings and pop them out with the axles. I'm not 100% sure I agree with that, but... Now, where were we before we were so rudely disrupted? does solve the clearance issue. Ah, that's tricky. They cast it for a bearing and it fits perfectly, but it causes a clearance issue. Alright, well, that does solve that. That is geared, geared, geared. Alright, so now that we've identified the missing pieces,
Alright, so. Just need a little grease. And put a bearing in here. four screws from being done with the rear axle. Almost. All right. All right. Thanks for watching.